Hey guys, how is it going? Welcome back to another video. All right, guys. So yesterday it was kind of late, uh, you know, before we got the patch notes. So I basically did not record the video for it. Uh, but now here we are. Uh, you know, here we are. These are all the patch notes that have been uh, updated in the game, uh, and this is the update five point nine. All right, guys. So here uh, is the first thing, which is Mortal Kombat, and it's an upload introducing legendary Scorpion. We already know that. A lot of people have already uploaded the gameplay and the chest opening both as well. Uh, most highly anticipated games of the year, Mortal Kombat. This is just like a promotion that they want to do for Mortal Kombat One. Uh, you know. So and plus Raiden and Sub Zero uh, to completely complete this deadly Mortal Kombat team. So they have been refactored with new passive abilities. Get over here to celebrate the launch of Mortal Kombat 1 and complete your MK team in Injustice 2 today. All right, this is uh, very interesting, you know. So Garfield Logan, aka Beast Boy, will join the Injustice 2 roster in time for Halloween. All right, it's, it's a really good time for uh, introducing uh, a character like Beast Boy. You know, it's Halloween. Uh, and uh, Legendary Beast Boy, Legendary Beast Boy, make note of it, it's going to be a legendary character, is a strong damage dealer who can transform into different animals by using his unique metahuman powers and a metahuman character, obviously. Uh, get ready to wound your foe with Beast Boy's talents and perform epic attacks with his advanced martial artist skills. All right, guys. So this is this is very interesting. A lot of people were hoping that they put in uh, a Beast Boy character. Now this actually raises a question that uh, they will actually uh, come up with a Teen Titans team as well in the future. You know, we got the Justice League team, we got the Multiverse team, we got the Dark Justice team, we got the Metal team. Uh, now we got the Mortal Kombat team as well. So I think it's time now that they put in a uh, Teen Titans team. You know, maybe Beast Boy is one of those Teen Titans character. Raven is one of those Teen Titans character. Uh, Cyborg is one of those Teen Titans character. Then there is uh, Robin uh, as a Teen Titan character. Starfire uh, and Nightwing too. You know, so these are uh, the Teen Titans characters. And uh, yeah, if they add, uh, you know, like three of these characters and make a Teen Titans team, that would be insane, you know, and I and this probably would be the first character they introduce, uh, aka Beast Boy, Garfield Logan, aka Beast Boy. All right, guys, now bug fixes and optimization. All right, Zatanna fixed the issue. Uh, with Zatanna's passive two, doesn't steal power bars while applying uh, damage reflect debuff. I've actually kind of noticed that that sometimes, uh, most of the time, Zatanna uh, does not steal power bars. And I think, uh, I, I didn't know exactly what the reason was, but I think it, it was because of that reflect debuff, damage reflect debuff. Girl of Steel uh, fixed the issue when uh, Supergirl, Girl of Steel, Special 2 could KO the opponent in the middle of the animation. All right. Uh, fix the issue when Supergirl, Passive 1 can stack up with special with used with zero power cost all right that the, these are some these are some bugs which probably a lot of people might not even have noticed you know but yeah they they were there in the game and that they've said that it fixed it batman who laughs fixed the issue when the batman who laughs crisis energy visualization display on teammates special icons uh ruler of conduct black adam fixed the issue when black adam uh, passives three stacks of Black Adam applies DOT with armor pierce on specials. I've been using Black Adam and uh, Black Adam applies DOT with armor pierce attack on specials. Okay. Blue Beetle Scarab's chosen fix the issue with incorrect bonuses for Blue Beetle Scarab chosen from Azure Artifact. I haven't used Blue Beetle yet, so can't say. Neither Robin King fix the issue with Robin King super move incorrect light during the other character super move. This is, this is like the most... Uh, you know, noob uh, bug that they had. Fix the issue with victim position shift. Same thing. Passing through the portal during the super move of Dr. Fate. All right. This is again a noob moment for Netherrealm. Brainiac fix the issue with Brainiac's tentacle clipping during the super move. That is weird. Fix the issue with Deathstroke misplaced camera. Again, noob moment. Wonder Woman fix the issue with Wonder Woman's lasso clipping through her hand during super move 
So these are like mostly animation fixes that they have done. Grodd fixed the issue with the head of Grodd not visible when the Joker uses his super move to him. All right, never noticed that. But that would have been crazy <laughs> to see, you know. Entangling Poison Ivy fixed the issue when the vines are clipping on the body of Batman and Grodd during a super move. These are like very specific uh, animations that uh, people have noticed. And they have noticed the developers team. Justice League Cyborg fixed the issue with the Justice League Cyborg Passive 1, which doesn't gain power bars. All right. This, I think, might have noticed by a lot of people. All right. League Rates. League Rates. Coming on to the League Rates. Fix the issue when Zatanna's Passive 2 passed between phases. Fix the issue with searching for available leagues to join. I've never noticed that because I never really searched for leagues. I have my own league. Ancient Judgment fixed the issue. Now, these are all for solo raids. An Ancient Judgment solo raid boss Supergirl could get damage in geometric uh, progression. Okay. Uh, fix the issue with looping sound or damage calculation screen. Thank you very much. Because this was like, you know, people playing with headphones on could literally hurt, feel their ears hurting because of that sound. And I don't know why it took so long to fix this issue, but it's finally fixed. So thank you for that. Taste of Evil uh, fix the issue with the visual on the boss, the Flash Super Move and Taste of Evil solo read. All right, I don't know what exactly was the issue over there, but they fixed it. All right, uh, Artifacts. Zatanna's Puppet fix the issue with incorrect negative effect. Apply chance on the Zatanna's Puppet. All right, all right. You know, this, I think this I might have noticed because, uh, you know, Zatanna's Puppet actually, uh, you know, uh, basically sometimes, uh, you know, you know, things used to happen when the infinite power, basically the trigger, Zatanna's puppet, the trigger would basically just go away with no reason. You know, I have faced a lot of issues, especially when I'm using Zatanna's puppet with the Silver Banshee and uh, not exactly with uh, Mr. Freeze or Catwoman, but Batman Ninja Catwoman. But yeah, it does uh, feel when you're using it with uh, Silver Banshee. All right, Twin Blade fixed the issue with Twin Blade, but doesn't destroy the active shields of the resurrected opponents. All right, never noticed that, but it's good that they fixed it. Neuron's Knife fixed the issue when Neuron's Knife doesn't give the wearer the power bars when Supergold's Solar Shield is obtained. All right, Protecting Necklace. I have this artifact. VFX does not disappear after dispelling Omni Resistance. Yes, that's right. I've noticed that. All right, UX and UI. UI application icon is updated. All right, not that big a deal. Uh, now chats are logged by a service provider. All right. Fix the issue with Supergirl Passive 1 and Passive 2 stacks saved between rounds in Champions Arena. Why? I mean, it was good, you know, to have those increased damage right at the start of the fight in Champions Arena only, but yeah. Fix the issue with Ice Clone. Now team tag is removed. Okay, all right. So these these are some uh, bug fixes uh, they did for characters, league raids, solo raids, and artifacts. But yeah, the most important thing over here is to look at is the Beast Boy character. You know, so yeah, let uh, let me know what you guys think about the update. How would you rate it from one to ten? Ten being the highest and one being the lowest, obviously. So yeah, do let me know what you think. All right, guys. So yeah, I guess that's about it for the video, guys. If you enjoyed it, give it a like. And let's meet again in the next video. Until then, guys, have a great day. Take care. Be blessed. And have a good one, guys. Bye-bye.